Hey, how's it going today, guys? Today's story of Brawl Commander Shauna, Purifying Blade, a legendary human warrior with lifelink. And at the beginning of our inset, we can pay X, and X is to draw cards, and X cannot be greater than the amount of life we gain in this turn. So this deck's all about gaining life over time, either one, two, three, no matter however much it is. So that at our inset, with whatever mana that we still have left over, we can use that to draw into some more cards and to get ready for the next turn. Uh, so to do that, we have cards like Soul Warden, Johnny's Welcome that can gain us life when a creature enters our battlefield. So we also have cards that take effect when we gain a certain amount of life with the Book of Exalted Deeds. That can create a 3-3 White Angel creature token with flying when we gain 3 life or more. Uh, we also have cards that can win the game, depending on how much life we have. Angel of Destiny, that if we have like 40 or more life and Angel's able, able to get ahead in or attack then we can win the game through that. We also have Approach of the Second Sun, which is a pretty fun card in this deck. I've been able to actually win off of it a couple of times, playtesting. We gain seven life when we play this card. It goes seven from the top back into our library after playing it. And with our commander, the amount of card time cards we can draw, and essentially, if we have, say if we have seven open mana at our end step after playing Approach of the Second Sun, we can pay seven and draw Approach of the Second Sun immediately. And just replay it on our next turn, uh, which is not as difficult as it sounds, because we do have some mana dorks here to help us out. We also have Mirari's Wake that can double up our mana sources. Uh, so it's not too out of the blue or out of the norm or whatever you want to call it to be able to win off of Approach of the Second Sun. Uh, all these other cards in the deck that you're seeing basically just add on to either they gain us life, they have some kind of effect that triggers when we gain a certain amount of life, or they just kind of keep us going. Uh, the deck's still pretty fun. Uh, if you want to try it out yourself or make any changes, there's some cards that I would add, but I just don't have the wild cards to put them in there. So if you want to play this deck yourself, the link's going to be in the description. If you like the video, leave a like. If you want to make any changes to this deck, or if you have any suggestions for something I could play in the next video, or something you want to see, etc., you know, leave feel free to leave a comment. Also, I just wanted to say I really appreciate everyone that's been uh, watching these videos and subscribing and leaving comments. Uh, we just hit 200 subscribers the other day and I was very happy to see that. Um, I didn't, didn't think much when I started this channel, but it's been a very good uh, time sink for me. Since I don't have much to do where I live at, being able to kind of have like a hobby that I feel like I'm learning new skills or new talents or whatever through video editing or audio mixing etc it's not the greatest of course i know that but i feel like i'm learning as i go and it's been a lot of fun to me because it's something new that i haven't done before so this whole channel has been a lot of fun for me and i hope it translates pretty well uh in the videos <laughs> you know so thanks again for all that i wish youtube would let us be able to make posts and the polls that you might see from other youtubers that you're subscribed to uh, basically, you can't do that until you have 500 subscribers, so that's kind of like the end goal for me right now. Uh, if we could ever get to 500 subscribers, that'd be awesome. That way I can start making polls, and instead of just kind of playing whatever commander I want to play, I can just ask y'all what y'all want to see, which is pretty good, especially when a new set comes out, like, I mean, like this one did. So, you know, if we can get to that within a year, that'd be awesome. Uh, Again, thanks. I don't know if I already said that like two or twice. I don't remember. <laughs> but again, I'll say it one more time. Thanks for the uh, support. And uh, yeah, let's get into a few matches. See how this deck plays out. All right, looks like we're going up against Winota. That is not a card I've seen in a long while. Got to wonder what I want to do because this is a good land hand right here of course but nothing to really do hmm I think we'll keep it we'll see what we draw into Cultivate ain't bad. Decline to take action. 
some really nasty ass noise in the background. Don't know what where that's coming from. <laughs> um Yeah, be careful because when Winota comes on the field, it's gonna be a real pain in the ass. So let's just play our commander then. And then we play uh Shiloh, Shiloh. Uh, next turn as a blocker. Banishing Light. That's fine. We do have ways to get rid of it, but for now. Alright. Let's play a Voice of Plenty. I guess maybe in retrospect, maybe I should have played Sila and then Shauna, like set up a turn like that. All right, so they got creatures that we control are going to come in tap now. It's pretty annoying. So I think we just go for cultivate here. Grab an island and a plains. And this is the new Winota too. Have I, I just haven't gone against some. Usually the matchmaking makes it so that you you normally don't go up against Winota. So I don't even know what its uh new effect is. Um I mean if we have an opportunity to take out Sunwing, I'll take it. Yeah. That's, I honestly think that's worth. So we'll just play out our commander again. We can play Book of Exalted Deeds next turn. Looks like they're not hitting their lands. They've been wanting to play Winota for a bit. Southless Savior. Uh, they're definitely trying to set up for their next turn. Alright, so <clears throat> let's play a book. Play out Heliod. And then we can keep safekeeping up. We can see how they block if they choose to. If I was them, I probably wouldn't bother. I mean, um, do I care if Shauna dies? We'll get rid of two of their creatures, if anything. Fortunately, it's like either take the gamble, see if they actually sacrifice selfless savior, or play Tamiyo now. But we should be able to start drawing cards now. We're going to make a creature token regardless. Well, as long as this goes through, which I don't see why it wouldn't. What they probably should have done is just Chump block with selfless savior and sacrificed it. And that way we wouldn't get the uh, hit them for. That way we wouldn't have gained three life because now we're just going to make a you know creature token. And we'll draw a card. Authority would be really nice against their deck. They would probably go for Seagate. Restoration. Assume they want to play Winota. Of 
course, they get Blade Historian. But we can chomp block. Alright, so... Should we go for Dream Trawler, maybe? Yeah, let's go for Seagate. See what we get here. Then we just play Authority and Player Class. Alright, they let it through, which is fine. Jump up. I heard it, cool. I think they should have kept playing. I mean, they still had, like, what, two creatures that can trigger Renota? Alright, going up against Prime Speaker Vanathar. Alright, kind of annoying, but I think we got a decent hand here. We have Prostomus Innkeeper, Johnny's Pride Mate. Now, if I remember how this commander works, we want to basically target it, I think. We don't want it to stay around in the field. We'll start sacrificing stuff. It gets really annoying. Right, so we could go for our commander if we wanted, but I think we'll go for Johnny's Pride Mate first. Next turn, we'll probably go for Solemn. Just to get our land if we don't get it next turn. If we do get our land, we'll play our commander. Right, Set so there at three. Mirror. So I think that copies artifacts. Artifact creatures are enchantments. We'll pay the two. We'll tap our force. Actually, not yet. Now we'll tap our force. I don't know if it really would have mattered, but just in case it did. Yeah, we have Soar up to uh, protect our commander if we need to. We'll go for Broker's Ascendance. Thirty the consoles probably be good too. Looks like they got something they want to do. Alright, so they're not have white mana, so they don't have something like uh What's it called? Settle the Wreckage. We'll see what they do here. I did not know Mirage Mirror could copy your opponent's creatures too. But I guess the text makes sense that way. Alright, we still probably go for brokers. Well, we got a counter spell out of their hand. So with our extra mana, we'll draw a card.
We might go for a Johnny next turn. And we got a safekeeping, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Though we don't have a good way to play it. So... Might want to change the way we do this now. Because even if I gain life with Johnny, I, I won't be able to pay for anything. So we'll take him on Pride's mate. Assume they chomp. All right, they play out their commander. We got a procedure, that's pretty good. Maybe we go ahead and try to get rid of their Mirage Mirror. So let's tag him on Prime Mate and our commander. Looks like I might be having internet issues right now. So, we play this land out. We draw another land. Next turn, we could fumigate after giving Pride Mate indestructible. Right now, we can kind of see if we can eat up uh, another counter spell. Well, I guess we can't play Greatheart because we only have the one planes. But we'll draw three. Alright, some pretty good cards there. So they need to pay two for Mirage Mirror. Well, now this is her. This probably makes kind of our win con right now. So let's see if we can't make them eat up another counter spell.
Alright, so... I guess they're gonna... Do it again? Or... I guess there's a certain creature that they're looking for, or trying to get to. They go for Thrag Tusk. It gains some life, right? It gains five life. Now they have creatures to attack unless they have something else. Right, so they're going to tap it again. Or they're going to keep the copy. Yeah. And then they're going to make a beast token and go back up with another one. But everything comes in tap, so even if they have a blocker, it's not going to really do nothing. Ogla, you know. It's not gonna really do nothing. Because we're gaining life every time they do that, or power every time they do that. So, you have a 12 12 of Johnny. Give it vigilance with this. I will teach you humility yeah. if I must. All right, going up against Amari. So this is going to be a token deck. We got our lands here, so I think we'll keep this. We'll go for Innkeeper next turn. We might actually play our commander next turn. Yeah, we'll play our commander this turn. Let's see what do we need? We need green. And uh it's the Hold back. We'll pay the one. Draw a card, why not? We got Uro that can help us play more lands. Paradise Druid. So it doesn't look like you're gonna swing in, that's good. We play this on planes. Play Uro. Play an island. Then we will not attack. Pay two mana, draw two cards. Go for a book of exalted deeds, planes, tag in with Shauna. Alright, we'll draw three cards because we can. We will get rid of uh, Elvis Mystic in. Which one of these is probably not as useful. Probably get rid of Besiege you, I guess. They go for Re Rejuvenator. Alright, so we got some good stuff to recover from if they do anything. 
So we'll play out Cleric Class, play out Hollow Priest. Attack in. It's fine. We'll get rid of uh, their commander then. Alright, so effectively got rid of their board. They might have a board wipe here. Alright, so... I don't think this affects our commander, because it is a mana ability, right? So we'll just replay our commander here. Attack him with these guys. Right, so we're not gonna pay this time. So we wanna keep up counter spell for this reason. Alright, that's nice game. Alright, gonna get yes, mission. See it's pretty decent hand here. Get chromatic lantern out, we can play Book of Resolved Deeds, or we can cultivate for our third planes. Give her Soul Warden. So we'll give her Johnny's Welcome. Go for Forest, Innkeeper. I'll trade. That's fine. Now we'll cultivate. Grab a or in a plains. Alright, so Kasuma is going to be annoying until we figure out what to do about it. So we probably want to play our commander next turn and try to get a uh, Book of Exalted Deeds work working. So play Forest. Play our commander. So this needs to do combat damage. Looks like they have removal. Or maybe they'll play their commander this turn. Paper Passage. We could technically play Book of Resulted Deeds on our instep. Or second main phase after attacking. Because if I'm reading this right. As long as we gain three turn, doesn't matter when. It should still make us a token. Charlotte's really good though too. Are we able to do both? No. But it can help us set up 
if anything. So let's see how they block. Playbook. Paper Passage. We will grab a island. So let's see, this is just any card, right? Never cast a second spell. Yeah. We'll just uh, draw cards. That's actually probably the better play anyways. Harbinger will be good. It's fine. I'd be surprised if they don't play their commander. So we want to play Harbinger. Let's see. Harbinger and Scry. Silverback Elder would be pretty nice. Attacks. Hopefully they didn't top deck removal. Looks like they are searching for it though. Alright, cool. So they just passed the turn. Play out silver back then. Play out of forest. Unfortunately, I can't play another creature right now. Because I do. So, we'll attack him with Harbinger. We'll make a angel token. Actually, we'll make two now I think about it. And we can gain life. Okay, this is a better play. Was it, I didn't even think about this. And. We'll just draw. Draw four just because. Ah, oh, shit. What the. F Damn it. Hit the wrong button. Meant to draw three. Oh, well, maybe they think that we'll have a counter spell or something. Alright. Go for Breeding Pool. for Silverback Elder. So we can destroy Vessel here. It's Fairy's Protection. That's good for them. And they don't lose life, but do we gain life? That's what I can't remember. Okay, it doesn't matter. I guess probably if I just read the card, it would say something like neither player gains or lose life. I don't know. I'm not terribly worried about it. That was definitely a misplay on my part by misclicking. We could have drawn three cards, got rid of all these islands that aren't going to do nothing for us. Uh, we're still in a pretty good spot here. They can't really swing in because Silverback has such high uh, toughness. 
Like, I might not play the decks the most optimal way or the best way, but I think I uh, at least showed the deck off fairly well, I hope. Y'all can learn from my dumb mistakes. So, search your library for a card. So, I imagine they're probably going for a board wipe. They still got five mana left over. Massacre girl. But we have a lot of high toughness. Yeah, that was okay. Misplay for misplay then. 